Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I will share a list of five specific niches that are selling right now that you can be working on. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you guys can create this design right here. I did have a lot of people asking about how we can edit designs that were made on Creative Fabrica. And so I did go ahead and get the original design off of Creative Fabrica and use Canva to edit it. So if you would like to learn how I did this, go ahead and stick around. So right now I am on Creative Fabrica and I have had some requests recently about how to edit Creative Fabrica designs and, you know, kind of resell them as your own. And I've done several videos on this before, but we can continue to do as many as you guys like because there is literally no end to what you can do with this. Um, so I love Creative Fabrica. I started off with a free membership and there are tons of freebies, by the way. So if you just go to creativefabrica.com and you go over to the right hand side, you can see freebies. And of course I can click on that and there's tons of free designs. There's free fonts, free SVGs, free graphics, free everything. So for example, free fonts, if I wanted to look at that and I do have a video on free fonts, by the way, um, there is, whew, 312,000 results for the free fonts. Again, if I was to go to like free graphics, there are, again, over 300,000 free graphics. And so lots of things that you can look through and get for free. That said, I do use the membership because there are some specific tools that I like to use and I just, you get more graphics, you know, obviously if you do the paid membership. Um, but it's pretty cheap. I do have a link in the description below this video if you guys want to check this out. Um, but anyway, so I am on POD graphics. I just hit print on demand graphics and I love that you can go ahead and search this way. And right now it is, um, it is filtering by most popular. So you're going to see right at the top what is very popular, what is selling. Right now you'll notice it's pretty much Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. So I'm going to hit view all graphics here. And so right now, tons and tons and tons of Christmas designs and we can, you know, scroll through and look for anything that we like. For today's video, there was a specific one that I was going to do that felt very relevant. And so I found this one. I want to say I was looked page seven on set. See if I find it. Okay. Nope. I found it on page six. They're constantly changing order because they are based on what is popular now. So as people are clicking and buying different ones, the order will change. And so this one has come up onto page six as of my filming this. And this is Merry Christmas Bra. Now, I like the saying, I like the graphic. I do want to go ahead and take this and make it a little bit better, make it my own. But because that bra is so popular right now, especially on kids shirts, I thought that that was just a really good one to work on. So again, you can click on any of these graphics here and you can go ahead and download this one. Obviously, I've already downloaded it. Now it does say commercial and full, full POD usage allowed, which means you don't necessarily have to change it. You could use it as is, but I never do um, because you, you always want to be safe. You always want to put up your own work and there's always ways that you can make it more unique. And a lot of times better than what you see here. And so we're going to go ahead, we're going to take this graphic and we're going to jump over to Canva and I'm going to show you how we can change this up a little bit, make it a little better, make it our own. So I am here on Canva's homepage right now and we're going to go ahead and start by going to custom size at kind of the top right hand side of the page. Um, we will be selecting 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That's the size I use for all of my t-shirt designs. So here it is. I do prefer to optimize my designs for the darker colors because they do tend to sell better. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my blank canvas and select black as my background color. Now, in order to get the design that we just got off Creative Fabrica, you would go over to the left hand side of the screen and you would go to uploads. Once we get to uploads, we can go to upload file and we can go ahead and upload the file that we just got. Okay, so once you have the graphic that you want to use uploaded and onto your page, now we can start editing it. Um, 
And so what I like to do is go ahead and just crop out the words and use my own words. Now, sometimes I can just crop easily like on this one and I can actually pretty much crop out the words exactly like that and I don't have to do anything specific. Other times I might have to use something like the um, magic eraser to get rid of stuff. So right now there's little sparkles around him. I could get rid of those sparkles if I wanted to. So I could go over to edit and I could use my magic eraser tool that will pull up the design. And then if I wanted to, I could just erase anything that I didn't like. So if there happened to be words up here that I didn't want or, you know, something that I couldn't just easily crop out like that, I can use my magic eraser tool to erase anything I like. Let's see if I can erase these little dots here. All right. And then when you're done, you would just go ahead and hit this back button. And that will take you back to the design and whatever you erased will be gone. And so I'm going to go ahead and start here. And we're going to add the same words, which was really simple. It said Merry Christmas, bruh. But I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to put Merry Christmas along the top. We're going to put bruh down here. The words are going to be bigger, bolder, and just kind of a slightly different style than what we had before. So I'm going to pull up a text box by hitting T on the keyboard. And I'm going to start by just writing Merry Christmas. And we'll go ahead and move it up here. I'm going to change that color to something I can see. So we'll start there. And now you can pull up the text box again um, and go ahead and put bra. And there we go. Now I do want, I think, both of these in all caps. So we'll just go ahead and hit this uppercase A, lowercase A, we can do that to change between upper and lowercase. And so that's pretty easy there. Now we're going to go ahead and pick some fonts. So the way I'm going to want this is bra is going to be really big there. Merry Christmas is going to be here and curved under. And from this point forward, you can choose any font you want. So we can go up here and there's different ways to go ahead and look through fonts. If you want something bold, you can search bold. If you want something narrow, you can search narrow. You want something wide, you can search wide. You want Christmas, you can search Christmas. You want vintage or distressed. These are all different search terms that you can use. Um, and then they'll give you different examples. If you know what you want, you can just go ahead and type in the fonts that you want. And so lots of easy ways to go ahead and do this. For this design, I wanted something a little bit bolder. So I think I did a search for bold and I looked through to kind of figure out what it was I wanted. And so you can just sort of scroll down and you can try different things out too. So you can just sort of click your way through and see if you find something that looks good. After searching for a while, because I do tend to spend a little bit of time searching, I came up with one called a uh, ITC Modder Corp. Let's see, there it is, Corpus. There we go. And I did it for both of those. Now there's different ones. There's condensed. This one's a little bit wider, a little bit narrower. Um, I think this is the one that I did here. I made that nice and big like that. And the whole point is it's going to cover up the fact that the bottom of the Santa has been cropped off. And then I've got my Merry Christmas up here, which I am going to go ahead and round over him so I can click it and click effects. And I can come down here and use the curve. And I don't necessarily want it curved too much, just a little bit. And we're gonna have to play with the size a little bit. So something there might work. So I've got my Merry Christmas bra. Now I also wanted to work on um, the colors, obviously. I don't want it to just look like this. What I decided to do was to have more of a whiter text but with sort of that um kind of uh reddish outline around it that i thought might look pretty cool so we went with white i didn't necessarily go with straight white you can i think what i did more was use this eyedropper feature to pull one of the whites off of santa's beard so it's just a little bit off white there but by doing that it blends into santa a little bit better and so it kind of matches with his beard there. And then I also wanted to go to effects and do an outline around here. And for this one, I wanted to kind of match the reds on Santa. So again, I went to add a new color. I used the eyedropper feature here and you can just hover anywhere over Santa's hat that you like, pick a color, 
I can't really see it. I'm going to bring that thickness up a little bit. Something like that. And we can do that. Now for the bra, I was going to do the same thing, which would be go to outline. Go ahead and pick a color. Now the color won't show up here because the outline colors don't usually show up here. So I can use my eyedropper feature again. Now I can either try to um, go over the same spot on Santa or I can just go over the words and literally just click on the outline to make sure I match that color exactly. So now I make sure I've got exactly matching outline colors. I might make it a little bit thicker. So here's where you can just sort of play with this. You can make it as thick as you want. I can really make it pop like, you know, really thick bra. Or I can bring it in just a little bit. So it just depends how you know, bold, I really want that to be. I do want the bra to come across as pretty bold. And then I've got my Merry Christmas up top here, which I think looks pretty cool. I can curve it more, I can curve it less. I could change fonts too. If I wanted to go with something a little bit narrower, I could do the condensed version. And the condensed version is gonna allow me to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm still using the same font, but I'm doing the difference between the condensed and then the bigger one, just so I can make that a little bit closer in size. So maybe something a little bit more like that. It's a little bit closer in size. I could even try to take this one and maybe see if I did that and shrunk it down just a little bit to, again, try to just get them a little bit closer in size. I want to make sure it is centered in the page, but at the same time looks good where I've got it over Santa. I might go ahead again, curve this a little bit. So there's a little bit of playing that I have to do, especially with the curve stuff, because once you change the size, you kind of change the curve. But that looks pretty cool there. I might make it a little bit closer to him, try to figure out where I want that to line up. And that looks pretty good. So that was a really quick and easy way to take a design that already existed on Creative Fabrica and just go ahead and you know change it up, make it your own, make it a little bit different. So now if I put this design up on Amazon or Etsy or anybody anywhere else, nobody's gonna have the exact same design. Even if they have the same graphic, it's still gonna be a little bit different. And so I always try to do that to make it my own. And it's pretty fast and easy to do. The hardest part for this one would just be picking the fonts. Now, sometimes I'll combine different graphics as well, but this looked pretty cool how it was. So I'm just going to leave that alone. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do read all of your posts. Thank you so much for the kind words. If you have video requests or anything else you'd like me to know, you can put that in the comment section below. Again, I try to get back to everybody. I'm also trying to create more of a community. I have a Facebook page. The link is in the description below if you want to go ahead and join the Facebook page. And because you guys were so patient again and waiting to the end of the video, I will be sharing another five niches with you that you guys can be designing for right now. So as promised, here are the five bonus niches that are selling right now that you can be designing for. And again, these are funny Christmas niches. So number one, nice, naughty, I regret nothing. And so that is done with just some check boxes and then you got the, the check under the I regret nothing box. Sweet but twisted, um, using candy canes. Let's get cracking. I've seen that with nutcrackers. Santa's favorite hoe, and of course you guys can figure that out. And then chilling with my snow me's, and that is popular every year. And so right now, all of these niches are currently selling, and you can definitely go ahead and get these up now and get them sold before Christmas. And the best thing, by the way, about some of these designs is if you create a Christmas design this year and it doesn't sell, don't worry, it'll stay up there and it can sell next year, especially on Amazon. You'll notice that some of the top sellers are ones that have been up for three, four, five years. So the designs you create today, even if they don't sell right now, don't give up on them. They may sell next year or the following year. You never know, especially with Amazon because it is so saturated. My top seller, which I have made over $13,000 in royalties from, probably took a good year and a half before it started to sell. And so things can pick up really quick. So don't get discouraged. Um, and thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you guys uh, found this helpful.
That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.